You're going to gather all your awareness right here at the breath. It's like gathering a flock of birds. They've been flying around all over the place, but now is the time for them to gather to down together in one spot. Because it's when the mind is gathered together that the different parts of the mind give one another strength. Your alertness is here, your mindfulness is here. All your good qualities can gather together right here, and this is where they strengthen one another. This is how the path works, by bringing all these good qualities together. Sometimes you're, all you need is compassion or all you need is mindfulness, but the Buddha never taught like that. When he taught with those lists of dharma, it may seem kind of dry and academic, but he's making a very important point that you've got to balance lots of good qualities together and bring them together. When they come together, they offer one another strength. It's in the same way as when people do unskillful things, then their unskillful qualities strengthen other unskillful qualities. I was reading about a guy who was a sniper and done a lot of killing, and look at his life, and he gets involved in a lot of lies as well, and a lot of other things that are not really moral. And that's an example in the bad direction, is that unskillful qualities strengthen one another. It's not the case usually that you do just one bad thing. You have lots of little things that get unskillful. But the same principle also works with your skillful qualities. You gather them all together and they strengthen one another. Your generosity strengthens your virtue, your virtue strengthens your concentration, concentration strengthens your discernment, which turns around and strengthens everything else. The Buddha's image is of building a house. When you put the rafters up, they're not all that solid until you get the ridge pole. And then the ridge pole pulls everything together. He said discernment is the ridge pole that pulls it all together. But the, the ridge pole can't just float up there on its own. It needs all these other qualities to support it as well. That's why we work on the concentration. Because that's the thing that most directly develops our discernment. And then, of course, we work on our virtue and precepts to strengthen our concentration. They all work together. So have this sense that when good things come together, they give one another strength. And you find that any one of them get is, is getting weak, okay, you've got to bring all the other ones to bear. In this way, the mind gathers its strength, okay, that it can accomplish things that otherwise it couldn't. Because sometimes you know that something is wrong, but you just don't have the strength to follow through with that knowledge. Well, this is why we practice all these good qualities, because they give you strength. So when you see that something is wrong, you have the strength to drop it. When you see that something is right, you have the strength to do it. So think of this as a practice that involves growing a lot of skillful qualities all together all at once. And that's how these little bits and pieces of good qualities of the mind, which in the beginning seem very weak, can gather together and give support to one another. That's how they gain power.